all of the podcasts that you have gotten me throughout this road trip. I mean, I think it's been like over five or six of them and uh, maybe even more than that combined with all the ones that, you know, you've reached out for over here in L.A., uh, Big Foodie, um, and we'll get into what exactly it is that you do in a, in a little while, but I just want to say thank you for everything, and uh, Andrew, how the fuck are you? Uh, um, oh, th- okay, all things considered, I mean, yeah. we're still, things are very uncertain, yeah. things are very, it's hard to, like, forecast yeah. in advance, like, I'm just starting to kind of like get out there Mm -hmm. in terms of like dining and trips for dining uh, which i definitely did a lot of pre-covid yeah but during march 2020 through basically all of april yeah late april 2021 yep i was doing zero dining no not even outdoor yeah no restaurant dining takeout yeah some yeah mostly home cooking with mixed results of course. yeah <laughs> um but i was yeah i mean and that was a huge change of lifestyle yeah which is not necessarily bad because i think it's good to like learn mm-hmm. you know you learn by doing yeah the dishes exactly that and it does save some money but it's like it's context yeah so but then with the um, delta and then now uh, work on and maybe something else Mm -hmm. who knows that's the thing it's like we just don't know yeah we're all kind of going in and then like travel restrictions yeah um so i i made a decision at least right now that i'm not going outside the country heard um mainly because of just the unknowns of coming back yes yeah 100 percent um i mean it would be different if i were in a different situation where it's like nothing going on yeah but I have certain commitments to, to be places. And so I'm kind of like, uh, I like restaurants, but yeah, uh, we all have our own different risk tolerance. Right. And so, okay. Yeah. So um, I just came back from Hawaii. So I, that's still <laughs> the U S yeah. Yeah. Still the U S motherfucker overseas, but still the U S. Yeah. Um, okay. So what restaurants did you eat at out there? Uh, I went to, uh, Miro, okay, in Kaimuki, which is Chris Kajoka's and Murad's restaurant. Where I uh, them okay, here, yeah. Um, but it was a guest chef dinner, so it was like ninety plus percent Sota Etsumi, who is the chef. Oh of, yeah, 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 dope of Maison mm-hmm. in Paris. For, best probably known for his work at Clown Bar. So yeah, like yep. the whole like the veal brain yep. dish, like that's his. I, I went to Clumbar, I had the, uh, I just had the duck and foie, like, um, on crew. Sort yeah. Of thing. That's delicious. Yeah. So okay. he was there, um, that was organized, uh, in large part by my, my friend, Stephen mm-hmm. Torres, who is actually in the movie, The Last Magnificent, about Jeremiah Tyler. Okay. So he's in that film. Gotcha. Um. So what is he doing in that film? He was, at the time organizing a conference or okay. still kind of does every now and then but and that was kind of thing where like jeremiah tower was speaking there yeah he was like one of the like key speakers gotcha and so he had a, he had a great introduction i don't i haven't seen the movie in a long time at this point but he basically was just like he's the shit and yeah here's jeremiah tower the mm-hmm. living legend and um yeah and i've been friends with steven since 2015 gotcha and he told me like hey we're doing this event out here in honolulu mm-hmm. um should get the hell out here and eat some yeah. food yeah so he went out there so had i went a great time. there yeah. went to barmaze mm-hmm. which is uh where key chung who used to be the chef de cuisine of aubergine right 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 Chung, right how was it which i thought was very good yeah um last meal of the trip okay Literally went to the airport right after. Mm-hmm. Ran to the gate. Yeah. To make my red eye. But worth going. Great, great, yeah. man. I'm going to check him out when I go out there. Um, so what is it that you do for a living? <laughs> like, what is your position? Because I've no, we've talked for so long about other shit, but we... I've I want to know what, what do you think it is. I thought you were a restaurant, like, right, you write for 
different restaurant publications. That's what I thought. With right. the way that you articulate yourself with, with the restaurants that you go to and the connections that you have. Because I'm, I'm friendly with restaurant people. Gotcha. And like food writers and like um, stuff like that. But technically, I'm not in the restaurant industry. Yeah. At least right now. Okay. Um, t- currently, which I haven't really publicly said. Yeah. But like currently, my job since October of last year gotcha. is working in wine auctions. Okay. So I'm a wine auctions uh, support, or I think that's the official title. Yeah. And so I've been doing that. I pivoted just like so many others right, pivoted right. during 2020. Yeah. And I uh, did that. Before that, though, I was... I mean, it's a long story. Yeah. I guess we'll probably... <laughs> So I I, I I might go back yeah, yeah, yeah. all the way to yeah. like how this all kind of begin. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. So we're in a chiropractic office. Yeah. This is my dad's clinic. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Once upon a time, early 2014, I was a chiropractor. You student. were you were a student. chiropractor yeah. student. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Um, I went to the alma mater where my dad went uh-huh. down in Southern California. It's actually where my parents met. Okay, so big so, chiropractic background. Right, and, you know, my dad uh, is in his field mm-hmm. pretty respected. Because, like, you know, I just saw, like, I, again, I don't really talk about it that much, but, like, he was the team chiropractor for the Oakland A's baseball team mm-hmm. for... Over 30 years. Gotcha. Which is kind of a shame because I don't really appreciate, like, actual sports. Yeah. Like, it's, <laughs> I only really care about, like, big swimming. Yeah. But it's, like, it's sad because, like, I have met a lot of, like, big baseball players. Mm-hmm. Like, not, like, just, like, little chance encounters. Just, yeah. Like, through the, but I just don't fundamentally appreciate it as I should. Like some people are like, Oh my God. Like, yeah, you met, you met all these people. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, whatever, bro. And I was like, <laughs> the rock. Yeah. See on punk. Exactly. You know, that's all you cared about. That's funny. Um, so then let's take it all the way back. Maybe where were you born? Uh, San Jose, California, San Jose, California. But I have no recollection of living there because I was very young. Got you. So your parents were both chiropractors? No. My What did your mom do? My dad is a chiropractor now since yeah. uh, 79. Uh-huh. My mom at the time was the bookstore manager at the chiropractic school. Oh, got so you. So she was there but not studying to be a chiropractor. Um, and now she is basically kind of like, this is like actually where we're sitting right now is kind of like her domain. Okay. Like this is... Uh, Pretty much like her like office. Gotcha. So to speak. Heard that. Heard that. Yeah. So she works with him and they've been working together for probably a long Pretty time. Pretty much. I mean, definitely during 2020. Yeah, not yeah. Not so much. 100%. Like he it would definitely reduce his hours tremendously. Yeah. Uh, for a long time was not even doing anything. Actually, like this particular office where right now got robbed mm-hmm. while he was like not working here. So he wasn't like visiting here. What did they take? They just... It, Pretty much took like everything, and it was like uh, some stuff of like no value, like everything. I mean, not literally everything, but <laughs> yeah. like it was just random shit. Like they had like they took a typewriter, and like it's a typewriter, like yeah. it's not even a computer. It's like yeah. an entire <laughs> antique <laughs> yeah. typewriter that you could. It's like it's just opportunistic, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Got you. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Well, shit's hard to all here in San Francisco, man. Um, damn. So. so there, my dad's a chiropractor. Um, through that, I've had the fortune of having a good upbringing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't want to say I've had contact with people growing up who were way more successful than mm-hmm. me. Yeah, and they were on track to be way successful. Like they were like the sons of. Or daughters of like software. Well, I guess yeah, in software, San Jose, yeah, yeah that's what you're living in. Like Is there a lot of pressure when you're going to school down there in San Jose because everything's well, so historic? In the and... 
in the peninsula. Yeah. Are they just like, you better work for Google? Is there well, a majority like, of kids that go work for Google? If I look at like the the Wikipedia page of my high school, yeah, I'm like looking at it, I'm like, God, hey, like, there's all these like tech people. Yeah. There's like Hollywood producers. There's like people who have like 40 under 40, 30 under 30 tech yeah. list people. And I'm thinking the 50 under 50 list needs to come into effect. I mean, might as well. It's 60 and, under 60, baby. Let's go. So, you know, I'm very well aware that I'm pr- privileged mm-hmm. to an extent. Like, obviously, if you're going to certain restaurants, that is a thing. Right. To like, but I'm also, at the same time, not... I have had the exposure where I see, like, super wealthy people. Right, right. And it's different from what people think it, it might be. Like, where yeah. they're like, oh, they're eating it, like, Saison, like, every day. Like, no. Like, usually they kind of belong to, like, country clubs and they're eating, like, yeah. the same type of shit. Lobster yeah. Thermidor. <laughs> you know. Nothing wrong with a good lobster Thermidor for five you days know, a week, it's like, you know. It's exclusive. Right, right. Um, I went to school in Atherton, which is, I think is like the richest zip code in the country. Yeah. Um, gated communities. But, like, I didn't live there. Yeah. Um, so I was kind of around that. But... Did you feel like you were, like, the poorest one of your friends? I wouldn't like... say the poorest, but I would definitely say... In the lower, got you, got you. For what yeah. that was, again, yeah, I, yeah. I am very well. Worked. No, I hear you. I hear you. I, yeah. I went over. I went over to one sleepover one time uh, when I was in high school. It was just like you know, this kid's like, "Hey, come over, sleep in my house." He invited like six kids, and uh, we all go over there. And like for for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, it Whoa. was McDonald's buffet. Like you'd walk Jesus. up there, and they would have like cheeseburgers sprawled out. And all the fries you wanted, like in the morning, same thing. Like that's like the movie spreads. Richie Rich, basically. With like, but, Macaulay but this was they had the they had a McDonald's. We had the trampoline, there. but he didn't have like you know he wasn't like that well off. I come to find out, like you know, as you grow up, you're like, okay, they were like upper middle class, but they fucking they went hard in the paint when it came to to fucking yeah, sleepovers. I, mean, I definitely come to realize how. There's that distinction between, and I'm, this is generalizing, but like old money versus new money, right? And like how they spend it. Um, and there's a lot of new money, yeah, right now in San Francisco. Um, that's crazy, but man. Like, you know, they're supporting restaurants, yeah. Sometimes we could always say, like, oh, the tech bros or whatever, like, they're bad guests, yeah. Or they're, uh, but in the end, they like, there are probably some who are like very well mannered and, yeah, they show up on time. Hopefully, and they tip appropriately. And, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, man. I mean, I remember just feeling the difference between, you know, going to, to that house and getting invited. And, to, you know, I didn't even, he was my boy, but I didn't really know him that well. You know what I mean? It's just like yeah. a classmate. And yeah. you get invited because you're best friends with one of the kids that, like, hangs out with him. And it's like total change. And I'm like, damn, people live like this? This is crazy. Because, you know, if I ever had anybody over my house, it was like rice and beans and chicken, baby. Like that's what you, you know what I mean. Yeah, like I mean, we were like it definitely makes you get like, no takeout. You know, I think anytime you have like that, if you stay at someone else's place, yeah, not like yeah. a hotel, but like stay at someone else's place and you see for the first time how other people are living, yeah, and you're like, what? Like this person uses Colgate. Or this even crazy. Yeah, and yeah, I was like, I was not caught, close. Up. So this is not <laughs> the best, right? Yeah. It's almost like that with like religion. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. No, like, I, I remember. I was, no. That's funny you say that. I remember like, toothbrushes being like a class thing, like a toothpaste. Yeah. Like if you close up was like the low totem pole fucking paste, and then you had Colgate and Crest. Yeah. Crest was like the champion. And you're like, oh, this is. It's an insight into like a different way of life yeah. even though if it's in the same you know school mm-hmm. district or whatever um so yeah i've always had a tremendous pressure on myself to be 